All right, let's find the GCF. That's the greatest common factor for 50 and for 75. So when we look at the GCF, we can also call this, or at least you'll see it called sometimes greatest common factor, greatest common divisor, highest common factor. They're all the same. Let's go with greatest common factor. What we want to do, find the factors of 50 and 75, look at what's in common, and just choose the greatest one. So the factors of 50, 1 times 50, that's 50, 2 times 25, 5 times 10, and I think that's it. These are the factors for 50. For 75, 1 times 75, 3 times 25, and then 5 times 15, that would equal 75. Those are the factors for 75. So we have our factors. Now we just need to find out what's in common and choose the greatest one. One is in common. One goes into 50. One goes into 75 evenly. Two, no, three. It looks like five. That's in common. And then 25. That's the greatest one. So 25 goes into 50. 25 goes into 75. So the GCF, that's going to be 25. You could use other methods like prime factorization, but unless you have really big numbers, this works pretty well. It's Dr. B looking at the greatest common factor for 50 and 75. The answer, 25. Thanks for watching.